if a society is value driven they are likely to have what we call good leadership but if a society is money driven material driven they are definitely going to sell out good leadership to the highest bidder and have the wrong leaders the wrong persons in place of leadership another beautiful monday here in this fct that is the nation's capital talking about nigeria i am choose krista saying welcome to another interesting wake up for the week moment with choose krista and uh yes this month of october happens to be our independent month and uh, we are staying in the mood of independence as we begin to look at nation building yes nation building is our focus our collective responsibility so i titled this one building a nation our collective responsibility and the focus is on our desire and the demand our desire and the demand you know everything the, 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 the science say that there is always action and reaction for every for every action there is an equal what re, an opposite reaction so if we are talking about the nation will desire there is a demand there is a responsibility there is something we ought to do in order to get that desire and i know when we talk about nigeria yes it's 63 years and we are still looking for peace we are still looking for peace but what we fail to know is that this peace comes with a price yes we look for peace it comes with a price i'm just going to focus on looking at what we desire and i put something in front of it but as we progress i don't know if we'll be able to have more than one section this week but if not next week we continue on this thought of nation building yes peace comes with a price we need wealth we desire wealth it is intentional riches are intentional they are created intentionally with integrity in leadership wealth of a nation is created intentionally with integrity in leadership and then you talk about talking about leadership now you talk about good leadership that is what we still desire after 63 years of independence we are yet to actually say that Nigeria have gotten it in terms of having good leadership. So to get good leadership, a good leader, good leadership in a nation is actually a product of sane and conscious followers who are value driven, not money driven. If a society is value driven, they are likely to have what we call good leadership but if a society is money driven material driven they are definitely going to sell out good leadership to the highest bidder and have the wrong leaders the wrong persons in place of leadership so it is never a product talking about good leadership it is never a product of docility yes docility leadership having a good leadership is not a product of docility from any member of the society regardless of the group or religion yes i want to say this with a sense of intention good leadership everyone regardless of your religious position christian muslim or who have you good leadership is not born out of docility out of saying that it doesn't matter you can stay in a country and you say you are a Christian or a Muslim and you go to pray to God to give you good leader and you fail in your responsibility good leadership is conscious is born out of conscious followership it's not a product of docility in religion it's not a product of docility in custom it's not a product of docility in tradition you don't sit back and think it doesn't concern you God isn't going to do certain things for you he is going to you know the Bible says 
that he prospers the work of your hand. So God is looking for the work of your hand to prosper. God is looking for your responsibility as a religious person, as a leader in the church, as a pastor, as an imam. God is looking for your responsibility in order to give your community good leadership. It doesn't come by just sitting down and praying. It comes with action. No docility. The need the soil need, uh, sorry, the plant needs the soil to grow. It doesn't grow on nothing. So good leadership doesn't come from nothing. Just like prayers are not answered without faith. Good leadership are not possible without responsible and conscious followership. We need morals. We're talking about our desire as a nation. We need morals. Morals is not a function of religion alone. Morality is not a function of religion alone. It is a product of having the right values and maintaining the power of choice. That's morals. You need to have the right values and you need to maintain the power of choice. What do I mean by that? If you don't have the power of choice with you, you are definitely going to trade your morals. So it's very important for you to have the power of choice. And what gives you the power of choice? The hope for a better tomorrow. That's the topic for another day. What do we desire? We desire unity. Unity. Unity is not a function of constitution. <laughs> Nigeria, unity is not a function of constitution. It's not a function of federal character. It is a function for respect. It's a function of respect for humanity. And understanding that God is not a man and God is not stupid to have kept all of us together. God is not stupid. We need each other. If he brought us together, it is because he knows we need each other. So when we begin to have respect for humanity and understand that we are together for a purpose and for a reason, then we will begin to attain the level of unity. When we begin to respect humanity, we need love. Love is not a reward for deed. You don't love people because they did something nice. No. Love is not a reward for deed. But love is an inner virtue that comes from the regard for God, the supreme being. When you have regard for the supreme being, God himself, you have love. Because the last time I checked, God is the creator of all humanity. Except you say otherwise. So love is a product of inner virtue that comes from when you have regards for God. Nigeria, we need, we desire cooperation. Why are we not cooperating? Why is the East not cooperating with the West? Why is the West not cooperating with the South? Why is the South not cooperating with the East? Why is there no cooperation? Cooperation is not achieved by constitution, not at all. Cooperation is achieved by value reorientation. We are back to the issue of value again. Reorienting our value system. Understanding that we are not complete without each other. Nigeria isn't complete without the North. Nigeria isn't complete without the East. Nigeria is not complete without the West. Until we begin to teach this value that we are together because of our weakness, not because of our strength. I can assure you of that. We are together because of our weakness. Because it's the fault of the weakness, the whole created by our weakness. That is what creates the opportunity for the strength of our, the other person to fuse in so that we can form a formidable force. We are together. 
because of our weakness. We are not actually born because of our individual strength. When we bring strength to strength together, there is always conflict. But when strength meets weakness, there is unity. It's an understanding. It's an reorientation. So the next time you see weakness in somebody close to you, in your spouse, understand that that is where your strength is needed. It's not an opportunity to judge. The next time you see weakness in a partner, in your colleague, in your friend, in the office, anywhere you find yourself, understand that is the hole where your strength fits in that makes it a company. Cooperation is not a product of constitution, but a product of value reorientation. Understanding that we are not born because of our strength, but it is our weakness that creates the opportunity for us to bond together. As I call it a rap, we need sound education. And sound education is not a product of policies, but a function of the players in the system. Who are the players in the system? Good education depends on whether or not the people who are in the system, the teachers, the school owners, the head of schools, the principals, everyone in the place, if only they are fulfilling purpose and not in the place of business. Education is not business. It's actually a place to fulfill purpose. Now, this is where I call it a wrap. And I hope this makes sense to you. Let me know how you feel about Moment, Moment with Choose Crystal on the comment section. See you again next week. Bye.